Hi, in this video we are going to talk about another logical function which is end function. So here is some data I have written where suppose this is our data main data where we need to check the or we need to provide the result of each student based on the mark scored out of 100, right. So here I have used end function and how let me first tell you how end function works. So suppose these are the marks here I have written some marks which is 60 and I need to check whether the number is falling in between my specified criteria which is for this case the number should be equals to or greater than 0 and it should be less than equal to 100. So how I can check if the number is falling in between these two values or not. So I can use actually end function here. Suppose in this cell if I write my end function as equals to and then in parentheses if I give cell reference as this one f2 so the first condition is the number should be greater than equal to 0 right so I will type the condition the first condition greater than equal to 0 now what is the advantage of end function you can write as many logical uh, test or logical uh, test you want so here uh, I have only two conditions which I want to check. So I will type only two logical tests but you can type as many logical tests as you want and I will show you in this example also. So the second condition for this case is the number should be less than equals to 100. So what I will do is I will just give the cell reference and then type less than equals to 100 then close the parentheses and if I hit enter then Excel will tell me if the criteria is fulfilled or not by telling the true or false. So the specified criteria was it should fall in between 0 and 100, right? Or it can be 0 or 100. So it is showing me true. Why? Because 60 does fall in between these two numbers, right? Suppose if I change this value to 120. So 120 as we know is a number which is greater than 100. So Excel will uh, show us false here based on our specified condition. Let us check. It is again showing us false. So it means end function is working correctly based on our conditions. Now let me change this value back to 60. Now as I told you that in end function we can actually put multiple logical tests, right? So suppose this is our report card or report sheet which we want to create. Actually, I have written the function here uh, as you can see. So here in this uh, example, I have used the if function and inside if function, I have used end function to specify my multiple conditions. So the specified criteria to make this report card was this one. If the mark of a particular student are in between if, if they are greater than or equals to 0 and less than 40 then we want it to show fail the result should be fail if marks are greater than equal to 40 and then less than 60 then the student should uh, the result of the student should be passed if marks are greater than equals to 60 but less than 100 then it should show distinction and if marks are below 0 and greater than 100 then it should show invalid because uh, the exam is out of 100 only so the marks can only fall in between 0 and 100. If the value is uh, below 0 and greater than 100 then it should show invalid okay. So what are the what is the formula that I use to create this result. So as you can see in the formula bar we can see the formula. So my function is if function primary function inside if function I have used end function multiple end functions. So based on my criteria the formula that I used is equals to if then in parentheses I type first end function and and then I uh, put my first condition which is the mark should be greater than equal to 0 and less than 60. If this happens then the result should show uh, the result as fail. Okay, then I type the second condition which is if uh, inside if function and uh, the marks are greater than equals to 40 but less than 60 then the result should show the value as pass. Then my third uh, criteria which is if uh, inside if function and uh, inside that end function g6 the value inside g6 is greater than 60 and less than 100 then it should show distinction otherwise. 
if any of these three conditions are not met then it should show invalid why because the number will fall uh, the, uh, outside of the specified criteria then so this is the condition that we have written and after we copy pasted the formula in each cell then you can see that the excel automatically gives us the result for each student now suppose if the marks of this particular student right now is 55 then the result is showing us pass if it is outside of the 100 or greater than 100 if this value comes out to be greater than 100 suppose if i type 110 then what excel will show you is invalid why because this value is going outside of our criteria and we have specified invalid term as our result if that happens so let me roll it back to 55 so this is how you can use end function and inside end function as i told you you can use multiple logical test so this is a combination of actually nested if function with end function okay so this is all for this video thank you